Oh, uh, what's the command? Okay, you select the book of Ford and forget it. Oh yeah, yeah, by destroying the book. Okay, I thought they changed it so you didn't have to destroy the book. But yeah, forget the spell by destroying the book. Yes. Cool. I think that's fine. If we if we get into a chancy situation that where we absolutely have to cast deflect missiles, we can just drink a potion of brilliance first, and that should do it. Okay. Let's go back to the vaults. I, it, the vaults just has so many powerful ranged enemies, and they enemies that start to use um, bolt spells, so they can. Uh, there, there are just a lot of things that deflect missiles. Re it is, it's, it's going to make this a lot easier for us. Probably an unseen horror, isn't it? Uh, this seems annoying. Alright, yeah, let's... Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. These rooms like this. I love this little mini vault. Just a bunch of crossbow bolts and this yak tar. Hasted orc wizard with a dagger of distortion. Oh no. That sounds awful. Moving forward to sort of get out of sight, see, just so much better than... Wardens are tough. Yeah, I think they just have a ton of health. Just beefy. We're fine, though. Battle axe of electrocution. That's not bad. We can probably drop a bunch of wands, can't we? Ooh, that's a nice juicy five target fireball. That's awesome. Here we want to use bolt so we can get to the convoker more rapidly though. Uh, did it kill the convoker? No.
Boom. Love it. Um, I feel like Dazzling Spray is really good against Unseen Horrors. Like, they're all eyeball. <laughs> Oh yeah, Pyko with a wand is, is pretty rough early on. Especially since he has his uh, ensorcelled slaves. Did I miscast? Okay, so we are attracting some attention now. I kind of was a little free with those orbs, I suppose. And the Convoker. Ooh, the Convoker could be pretty annoying. Um, let's just teleport. Not, you know, the coolest position to be in ever, but... Reserved. Oh, we drank a potion. Okay, well... Let's let our allies take care of that. Impulsible. There we go. Man, just the, uh, that, um, fireball deflect missiles status, uh, is very comforting. I think we're gonna be okay. Wizards are a lot better equipped to deal with these slimes than uh, melee characters, generally speaking. Executioner's Axe goes a long way as well. Hmm. Sentinel's Mark? Oh no! At least we've got a nice little stronghold here. Oh, and probably there isn't too much left. See, this is the coolest hideout ever. We can see whatever's coming in the door. With the triple choke point. This is awesome. Donald. I just love it that he, like, 
I don't get what's so special about the number 27. It just implies that he's, like, pissed that he's not. Sorry, he's quite angry that he's not max level yet. Sorry, I know that's not exactly X-rated material, but I, I do try to keep this stream uh, family friendly. Just because, you know, you never know when your kid's going to wander into the room. Or... Ooh, I do like Shields of Reflection. Is it worth putting a bunch more points in the shields over? What is it now? Is it level? I guess it says on the shields. They changed up the, the skill required for these things at some point. 15. Okay, so that's still the same. They just lowered the level for bucklers by one. Um. Gosh, I don't know. Reflection's really good, but and we're going to be deflecting a lot of missiles anyway. But we'll just keep in mind that it exists and stick with our buckler protection for now. The extra three armor class is also not irrelevant. Not too bad. Five on small species. Okay, that, that must have been what I've been thinking of, because... Yeah. Okay, four. That's cool. piece from Zong's chest quivered. Halberd. I'm always curious about stuff like this. Probably shouldn't wield it, but... No, that's not what I meant to do. No, we didn't have a lot of luck. What are you, Halberd? It's vampiric. Now I'm really curious. The plus ten Halberd of Karma. Vampirism Dex plus three C invisibility. <laughs> wow. Oh, but don't we lose, like, eight armor class? Hmm. Hey, Sunnif. How's it going? Good to see you. Oh, I have crackers to snack on, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. I apologize to eat on stream, but I'd rather keep streaming than um, not.
Yeah. Okay, so this is a um, uh, something I've asked if I could give a rundown on the character, which, since we've got a bunch more viewers than at the start of the stream, I will. This is a Demon Spawn Wanderer that I started up, and just kind of as a throwaway character that just got a really bonkers set of mutations. Um, pretty much, the, like, if I had to pick my ideal mutations for a caster character, I might have picked these. I, I, I don't know for sure that I would have. Like, I'm sure that there's probably ways that you can min-max it a little bit more, but this is a massively powerful set of mutations. Um, yeah, we have, um, we have hooves, which are fine. I like it better than some of the others. Um, we have icy blue scales, which at max will give us resist cold and five armor class, I believe, four or five. And, mm, oh yeah, yeah, four armor class. And a penalty of one to our evasion, that's okay. We have Hellfire. As our tier 3 mutation, we are at level 2 of that, um, which gives us fire resistance and immunity to clouds of flame, which is sweet. We are mostly covered in sharp spines, which I think is level 2 of the mutation. Yeah. Um, so that has done a lot of damage to our enemies, which is cool. Um, and then we also have uh, the spirit shield slash massive mana regeneration slash... Um, when we get level 3 uh, life tapping, like you stop your health regeneration and regenerate mana when you're low. So yeah, we're basically a machine gun mage. We throw out tons and tons and tons and tons of fireballs. Because we regenerate like one mana every two turns when we're above about 30%, and then it's one mana a turn when we're below-ish. Like, it's a very rough hazard, but... We're, we're, we're strong. Um, we, we're not quite as powerful as I want to be. But we're, we're definitely strong. We've got a decent toolkit. Not too much utility. But we do have Blink. We have Deflect Missiles. I'm toying with the idea of eventually putting points into translocations, uh, treating translocations as basically a defensive skill so that we can maybe get access to controlled plink. I don't know how I feel about that. But, yeah, we're, we're a pretty, pretty beefy guy. We're just, we're wielding a mace of protection and a buckler of protection. So we have 20 armor class in rogues, which is great. It, it, it is, unfortunately, I think we're penalized somewhat. Well, you know, maybe it's just the base armor class of your armor. I'm, I'm not sure if it's your armor class value or your armor's armor class that is subtracted from your spines damage. I think it might be your actual armor class. I don't know for sure. Anyway, our spines have definitely been doing work. It's, it's about this point in the game that they kind of start to wane in usefulness anyway. Like, generally, things in melee are going to be hitting you hard enough that you're not going to want to rely on spines to kill them. But it's, it's still okay. Um, I guess we're wearing this, sing, this ring of sea invisible right this moment, but I think I may switch back to this other ring that gives us an extra armor class and nine extra mana points and four extra strength, which doesn't do really anything. I mean, I guess if we have to hit something with our mace, it is okay. Yeah, I, yeah, it's, it just says AC. I'm, I assume that it means your armor class value. But... I hope against hope that it means the armor class of the armor you're wearing.
Oh no! Sentinel's mark. But let's get out of here. Or at least get to the staircase. I mean, I think we can... The, o the only thing that, that prevents us from just picking things off indefinitely here is a Vault Warden, which we will have to keep an eye out for, but... I'm not too terribly concerned. We can't get both of them in. And we have deflect missiles, so these little plinky crossbow bolts and whatnot. Not too concerning to us. I mean, look, we can just cast fireballs all day. Um, Worshipping Behemoth also is giving us... Yay, more intelligence! We grow stronger. This is the Vault Warden, so we're getting out of here. Um, just because we're, you know, kind of half resources, we have a Sentinel's mark on us, which is a big bummer. Hey, Tetcha. How's it going? It's good to see you. Um, yeah, we have the Sentinel's mark on us, and so, while I'm sure that we could have fought off the Vault Warden and the Yak, I'm not sure that we could have fought off the, what I'm sure was around the corner, horde of Yaks and three very ugly things and a orb of fire. I don't know. Really hope that that <laughs> isn't what awaits us. Um, I think now we're okay to return here. Now that we don't have the mark, I think. Yeah. So, um... So yeah, so uh, all that to say, we are um, we are quite strong. Spell power could be higher, but you know, spell power could always be higher. Uh, well, we are kind of lacking in gear. It's not really too bad because I actually like this Mace of Protection and Buckler of Protection. Um, and all of our stuff does give us something, but we, we haven't found very many we haven't found any spectacular artifacts, and we haven't found very many good artifacts. Or particularly... Um, <laughs> you guys, you jokers. You jokers. Um, totally lost my train of thought. That's fine. I think we can kill this guy before he gets his word off. Deflecting rocks is so satisfying. It makes these fights just so easy. Boom. Ooh, I like frost giants. They are not a fan of the flames we wield. Do you have to be cautious? Um, sure. Let's eat some flesh. Ow! Fireball hit us for a decent amount. Yeah. We just have... Okay. Now here's where it gets kind of annoying. Because we actually are out of mana now. I guess we can cast Freeze. Let's see if that does it. Nope. I guess we can cast Freeze indefinitely. Because we regenerate a mana every turn. That's kind of cool, actually. No, there's Sentinel's Mark. Golly gee. This could get rough. Huh. 
Boom. Just bonked him on the head. That's a plus of having 21 strength. I mean, that's not insignificant. I I have never dwarf fortressed. I I I want to be a dwarf fortresser, but I, I'm just the ASCII is. After a while, it just gives me a headache. I I my vision is not awesome. I have lumpy eyeballs, and so staring at that much text after my job where I stare at text all day is is it's just kind of rough. But, I mean, I know it's a, a, a brilliant, beautiful game, and I, I really want to play it someday. I just... Oh, it does have tile packs? Oh, man. Well, now I don't have an excuse anymore. I better do that. Boulder Beetle. I'll throw an orb of my own. I don't know, I hit a stone wall. Well. There we go. Um. Ow. a little cute with that boulder beetle there. I, that was not really necessary. I think at this point maybe it's better to wait for two enemies at a time and then bolt and fire them. Um, well, unless we starve to death. No, let's eat a fruit rather than drink flesh. Yeah, because if we can kill an enemy with one of these things, uh, yes. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, sometimes it is worth it to fireball yourself. Not usually, but sometimes. Alright, we're just going to kite for a minute. I guess there we could have used fireball. Didn't have to use... Man, this mana regeneration is just so, so good. So strong. Oh no! We have several foes. Oh, and a Rakshasa! Golly! Um, let's just... Pop a Potion of Magic. I feel like this is a decent time to be able to hit one, two, three, four powerful enemies at the same time. No, we don't have three turns to spare. I think Royal Jelly's... Oh, no, Royal Jelly is three. Curses. Should have done a meat ration if we were going to do that. Well, that's a bunch of... What can you do? Um... Yeah. This actually seems really cool. Yeah, I, I can't think of many situations where we get to kill this many things with such efficiency. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Just three, four target fireballs every time. step back. That's fine. Really want to try and... Ah, oh, no! Do you want to quaff another potion of magic? I mean... Might as well. 
we'll have better ways to regenerate magic later, I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, we follow that stream. Follow. Oh. Okay. Thanks. I like. Uh, I I don't often get to watch other dungeon crawl streamers, but it's fun. It's fun. Fantasio, fantasio. Yeah, you're cool. Um, if, if, if I have enough viewers where I have to worry about spammers, I'll probably pre be pretty happy with that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and keep nuking stuff down. I, I feel like this can't... I mean, it's just so efficient. With the exception of having to use consumables. But, I mean, we're going to have to use a consumable in this circumstance anyway, either to teleport away... Or to, I don't know, heal or something. I mean, this way we just get to kind of chill out and blow up a bunch of dudes. We also, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually get to the point where we can cast Firestorm and, and then the game's just over. should be basically the whole level. After a sentinel's mark and uh this what just makes our conjuration spells stronger? I don't hate that. And then we can just switch over to our mace once we, uh... Yeah. That seems good. Another sentinel's mark. Good golly. Thing. I don't think fireballs can be reflected, which is a nice bonus over old spells. Our MR is bad. <laughs> Almost nothing. Uh, I think we get a little bit naturally each level. So, you know, we're not going to be completely vulnerable, but it, we, we are definitely very vulnerable to spells. That's why I haven't gone into LP yet. Missiles. I don't really care if it throws stuff at us. Yeah, because pretty much everything I have is conjuration and something else, right? Yeah, or straight conjurations. Very heavy conjurations. Okay. <laughs> I 
You guys are a hoot. Boom! Didn't actually really want to cast that spell there, but I got carried away. Let's do something that can get both of them there. I always want to think that great swords are cool. They're really not great. They're kind of like dire flails. They're they're just they're just not very efficient. The nice uh, another nice thing about using fireball is like here we're actually getting this tile as well. So if we can see something here, we, we can get some collateral damage, and, and we manage to kill at least one monster that way without it being able to affect us in any way, shape, or form. Except for you know potentially buffing that monster, but. We don't need to get too nitpicky. No, let's drop some stuff for carrying too many things. Um, I feel like we're probably done with this plus five rate of intelligence. I mean, it was really swell, but I just I love having the extra mana so much. Now that it's okay to have two MP plus nine items at the same time. I think it used there used to be diminishing returns starting with the first ring. I feel like that's true. I think they've changed it so that it starts with the second ring. Or maybe there there are no diminishing returns. That would be kinda cool. Just stack mana. Ooh, flame crab. Oh, ha ha ha! We're immune to flame. Suckers! Immune to flaming clouds. This is like the first time that I've ever had that immunity be useful. Annihilator. Barely know her. Um, not taking a ton of damage from our level 6 spell here. Okay, there we go. Hurt. Great mace. Yeah. Maybe we can finally get an amulet. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, name of the warding. Sure. I'll take that. I really like that. It gives us um, resist negative energy, and oh, I don't, I don't think we're strong enough for bolts five yet. Um, I haven't played Undertale yet. Is that on? Uh, is that on Steam? Or is it just on? Uh, on a server. Um, yeah, I don't... I just... We're, we're really resistance weak right now. We don't have poison, or electricity, or cold, or mutation. Um, we're, we just really have a dearth of artifacts with incidental resistance. Undertale. Maybe I... Did I actually go ahead and get that the other day? I didn't even mention it. Uh, I guess I did not. Let me, uh, let me go do that real quick.
sorry, there's a... Okay. So store. Undertale. Undertale. I've been allowing myself a few dollars worth of game purchases lately, lately. Um, just because I feel like I have to have spent some money on the your tail GTA 5. Okay, cool. Oh wow, could you guys see all of that? I'm sorry. Oops. Please don't hack me. Uh, anyway, so Amulet of Warding, I really like there. Um, there's some pretty powerful summoners in the vaults that may give us a little bit of trouble. And we also didn't have a source of resist negative energy, which I like to have for Shadow Dragons and the like. Not too concerned. I don't, I don't think there's uh, all that much that can be done with that information. I would say. Okay, so um, yeah, we're getting along just fine in here. I mean, by the time we bump into things, we're pretty much regenerated. Uh, let's kite this guy back, though. This deep trolls often come in packs, and that can get pretty rough. So there's at least one more. I guess only one more. This is the first time in a long time that I've actually used a staff. Just haven't had many. I haven't had many characters that haven't found a cool artifact of some sort that they wanted to be wielding. Generally the case. Aw, oh, closed up shop. Oh, no, 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 that's the same jewelry shop we got our ammo from. Okay. Bolts 2, down. Let's try out Bolts 3. Is Bolts just 4 levels now as well? No. Surely not. Okay, good. I'd be very sad if they changed Bolts 5 away from Bolts 5. Um, oh, darn. Just hoping. Okay, good. I got it in time. <laughs> Cast a bolt of fire, net gain one mana. Cracker if I'm not going to be talking. <laughs> well, thank you for. Thank you for promoting my stream. I, you certainly don't have to do that, and I, I very much appreciate it. That's that's very kind. 
I hope that, I hope that they enjoy the stream. Is is mostly, uh, mostly w what I hope comes of that, because I certainly enjoy doing it. I'm glad I've had this holiday weekend where I've gotten to take that opportunity a little more frequently. Might be a little while, might be until Tuesday or Thursday of next week before I get to again, but... Okay. Alrighty. Then... How do you feel about those? How do we feel about those? Okay, alright. I mean, maybe we can do L3. I think we can do L1 and 2 at least. Yeah. I usually overestimate L1 and 2 and have L3 about spot on. Sometimes I overestimate L3, but not usually. It's tough. One of the toughest things you can do that doesn't have a rune at the end of it. Not counting the saber routes, I guess. They used to have runes. You could have infinite runes. What do we have here? Warden? Warden? Oh, we don't have anything smite targeted, do we? That's a bummer. Wow. This could be really bad. Um weird. How are we supposed to deal with that? Oh, I see. There's a I did not notice that little gap there. Mind the gap, please. Might is... Whoa, yikes. Okay. Alright, well. We can take damage. Uh, I think... It's gotta be Blink Scroll. And then Potion of Curing. I think that has to be... Way we do it. Let's go there. Push it to curing. Whew! Okay, alright. Uh, uh. Oh, a little bit of chest pain there. Wow, alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm s still pretty sure that was the right series of events. Alright. Um, and then make sure we don't let him just bash our heads in. Gosh, that was scary. Alright, what's in the book of battle again? Um, I like regeneration. I really like how regeneration combos with our low health mana regeneration. How many, uh, six spell levels? Hmm. Chain Lightning is still at 11% failure. So if we gain one more experience level and one more level of 
spell casting will... I guess it'll set us back. We'd have to gain two levels in one or the other. Firestorm's down to 90%. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, you guys are, you guys are cracking me up. Don't worry. I'm just, uh, just not going to repeat all of that um, for the recording. I, uh, I do have a friend that sometimes uses this for his, um, uh, for his class, but uh, so, but no, you, you guys are great. Um, Lignif I haven't thought about lignification against torment. Is it just torment resistance, or surely it's not immunity? That's the other question, is would regeneration, yeah, it's had such low spell power because we don't really care about charms and necromancy. Eh, we'll just, we'll drop it off for now. What's in the Book of the Sky again? Tornado? I do want Tornado, but um, I don't think we're anywhere near casting it. Yeah, about the same as Firestorm. Firestorm just takes twice as much experience because we've got to use conjurations and fire magic. Torment and immunity, wow. Oh no, just resist torment, okay. That's really interesting. I, uh, oh, it is torment immunity, wow. That's awesome. Lignification against torment. That's really cool. I, I will have to remember that. Gives me a reason to carry another potion around. Thanks, guys. Deprive me of an inventory slot from here on out. No, I'm kidding. That's awesome. So it's not as rare as I thought. But, I mean, lignification does come with its own drawbacks. For sure. This is a cool little room. Yeah! Three mosquitoes with one fireball. Two of them blind. Love doing that. Um, whoa, that's a lot of a lot of folks. Here, we can kind of kite back. Yeah, I bet we could do Elf. Maybe not today. Our spell hunger is down to three pips for uh, bolt of fire. Wow, none for fireball. Awesome. So we are getting stronger. This is this is good. And let's cut back a little bit more here. I uh, want to be a little bit safer. And um, yeah, especially if it's gonna sentinels, Marcus. Golly gee. I think we're okay in this particular instance. Hmm. 
<laughs> the full face of Phantasmal Warrior. That's kind of cool. Um, I feel a surge of power. I don't know what that is. Boom. Um, um, yeah, I think now it's about time to head out. Okay. And let's see, there's another staircase. Let's go back and give them a different ID. They won't notice, right? Uh, I really should work on my posture. I, I blame my legal assistant for that. I know that's rude, but it's been like two and a half months since she promised she'd get me a new chair and she's kept putting it off because she wants to add more to the order to get like quarter of a percent discounts each time. Well, we're hiring somebody new, so we'll need it soon. No. But everything hurts. So it'll be fine. I think it'll happen soonish. Gosh. No, no, okay. Fine. I guess we can put on our We could put on our ring of sea invisible, but we need we needed our uh, our Jedi senses to be honed. I'm, guys, I'm kind of, I, I'm afraid, I'm afraid to be excited about the new Star Wars movie. It's, it's hard to learn to love again when someone has wounded you so, so deeply. And, uh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know if I can trust, um... Anything that, that George Lucas has ever touched, ever again. But I want to. I want to believe. We'll see. I just feel like, I mean, and you know, part of it is that I just, I'm really excited. I really want it to be good. Um, okay, a chain lightning is almost there. So I would be okay with learning that as soon as we have the spell levels. Um, so aside from the fact that I'm just really hoping it'll be good because I hope that they picked good people and whatnot. Like, I feel like Disney, of all the companies in the world, knows how to make entertaining stuff. Like, they're not always the most original, but I, I can't think of the last time I was bored at a Disney movie. So there is that. Um, And, and I also, ooh, Hellfire, ow, okay, that's fine, uh, do we have to do anything differently? Are they resistant to fire, or do they just have the ability to, yikes, 45% on banishment, maybe that's why we're not going to Elf. Frickin' coin flip chance to be sent to the Abyss. Oh, this might be the crypts. Yeah, wow, that was a very tame crypt entrance, that's fine. Fine by me. What robe are we wearing? Oh yeah, this resist fire and impulse too. Oh yeah, like Tomorrowland or something? I don't count that because they use George Clooney. George Clooney's terrible. I still enjoy watching him, like in the sense that you you enjoy watching your kids, you know, when they go on stage or whatever. He's just he's just cute. He's real cute. And he's whoa, yikes. Okay, something's hitting us. Let's let's go ahead and wear a ring of see at this point. Um, shadow rate. Ow, okay. 
No, I, I like George Clooney in several things. I liked him in Ocean's Eleven, was that? He was in Ocean's Eleven, right? I think I liked him in that. I re actually, I really, really, really liked him in Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Oh, John Carter! Okay, yeah, they did wait. They did waste a ton of money on John Carter, but I loved John Carter. I, I know, I know that makes me a bad person. But I really, really enjoyed that movie. I've seen that movie at least a half a dozen times. I just think it's so goofy and funny, and I, I just, like, I just imagine whenever I'm watching it that I'm just hanging out with Edgar Rice Burroughs right there, and I'm just like, look, look what we came up with from your book. Isn't this crazy? And I, I think you would just laugh and, you know, enjoy it. Like, I, it's, it is a bad movie, but it's pretty. It's got Willem Dafoe as an alien villain. Like, I mean, it also, it, it took me at least two times through that movie to even recognize him as Willem Dafoe, who is one of my favorite actors. Actually, I, I really like Willem Dafoe. I think he's incredibly talented and versatile. I prefer him as a villain, but I, I think that he's very strong in any role that he plays. All the way back to uh, to Live and Die in L.A. I think was one of his one of his earliest roles. It definitely is breakout. I mean, his earliest blockbuster. <laughs> okay, yeah. So all that to say, I like if if it's if they make Star Wars similar to John Carter, I will be okay with it. Like I, I don't know if you've seen it, but I, I very highly recommend the uh, the review of the, the Star Wars prequels. Um, it's by this dude with a really creepy voice, and he like intersperses these weird images in the middle of the review, and it's kind of strange, but it's really solid. Like He talks about how none of the characters have any defining characteristics. Like They're not characters, they're just names that wander around doing things, and that they're not, there's no dynamism to them. And just the casting was bad in a lot of it, the CGI was awful. And, and, and um, like, just pointing out that there's no plot to these movies, you can't follow the plot, because it just, for whatever reason, they're going all over the galaxy in these cutscenes, you know, and you'll be on one planet, and another planet, and you don't even know why they're there, and nobody's really somebody just hops into it, like, it, it's, I very, I, I know I haven't given you a lot of information to go on, but I, I recommend looking up that review, because it definitely explains a great deal of what I also believe to be wrong with the prequel trilogy, but I don't think that Disney has that problem. I think that, like, even if it's a super simplistic plot, I think they can come up with a good plot. Wow, wow, whoa, what is going on here? There's a wizard lab on this level. We've got a bunch of ogres in here, and we've got Quicksilver Dragon Armor, which I'm really excited about, actually. Um, because we, we are really low on magic resistance, and I kind of want to do elf at some point. What's our armor skill? Three, so we probably want to work that up. Yeah, I, I I kind of like that they're doing this in the same way that I like that they're doing um, the... I like what they're doing with the Star Trek reboot with the new movies. Um, and I guess that there's going to be a new show soon as well, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I don't know about the new show, but like at least the new movies... And I would... See, I would assume... Okay, this is assuming that they keep the new show in the same canon as the new movies. I don't know why they wouldn't. Where, like, it's a whole different universe, parallel universe thing, um, different timeline. And I like it because it it's opening it up for a new generation of writers and viewers. Like, I, I, I feel like if 
if we kept trying to make things based on what the, the long-time fans, the people who have been watching it since the original series, what they think it ought to be next, and like merging in all the fan fiction and all the pseudo-canon and all the, the sub-canon and, and quasi-canon and demi-canon and like, I don't even know all the terms. They're, they're, people get crazy about it. And, and if you just hit the restart button, even if it doesn't get off to the craziest momentum of a, of a start, um, I still think that it, it it gives a great new opportunity to explore the same, like some of the same ground without the same restrictions. So, I don't know. Is Lucas just like an idiot savant? Is that what it is? Just has has no concept of storytelling or or entertainment and, and just wanted to Okay, right. So we do want to find this Oh, I bet it's right in here. Awesome. Oh that would be super duper. Um, so that means we can focus on fighting this troll first. Green crystal. I love green crystal. You can bounce bolts of fire off of it. It's fun. Let's you do some cool stuff that you don't otherwise get to do. Uh, while we can't see him, let's read one of these multitude of scrolls of magic mapping just to know exactly where it is. Okay, good. Um, because we very much at least want to see which wizard lab it is. No, like, for one, this is a Demon Spawn Wanderer. Totally okay with taking risks with this kind of character because they're just designed to be throwaways. Like, even if they get powerful, no matter how powerful this character gets, I won't be too sad if it dies because it's a Demon Spawn Wanderer. It's just for fun. Um, and Wizard Labs are cool, so we're going to check it out. Ooh, air. Ooh. Ooh, the Cloud Mage. Well, I like that. We are an Air Mage. We'll think about that Quicksilver Dragon Armor later. Okay, so... Are these the exits? Yeah, portal leading out of this place. So, you know, like, sometimes I wiki these because they're really super dangerous. I'm tempted to try and just do this one puzzle style. I'll, I'll start it off without looking it up and figure out from there if I need to. Okay. Um, oh wait. Mm, maybe we do want a ring of invisibility or a sea invisible on. But probably this seems like a place where there's going to be sky beasts and stuff. I mean, in an ideal world of movies, there would be much laxer IP laws, and people could be truly creative and, like, make fanfiction movies, and there wouldn't be the stranglehold on creative development throughout the country and the world. But, you know. Rich people gotta be rich. And, and also, I mean, rich people steal from actual creative artists, so um, we have those laws to protect them as well. If there weren't jerks in the world, we could just be creative. If we live in a post-scarcity society, it would be awesome. But we're not there yet, unfortunately. IP law is one of my specialties. And it is dumb. 
me tell you. But yeah, I would, I would like. My best argument for that is uh, Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality, which I very highly recommend. It is one of my favorite works of literature, like of writing, that I have read ever. And I've read a lot. I've read thousands of books. Um, that's not to say that I necessarily have good taste. You, you may decide that I am not worth listening to. But um, I very, 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 very highly recommend Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. For anyone who is even remotely a fan of Harry Potter or Rationality. Oh, Dr. X. So it really is like your, your childhood that is... It was it was damaged. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this this whiz lab doesn't seem too scary so far, but um, maybe that's just because we're stupid. I don't know what's what's going on over here. Oop. Not what I meant to do. Okay, slow down. Slow down, McNeen. These are infinitely generated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this doesn't seem too threatening. Like, it seems like it could be annoying for some, maybe? I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely okay with, this, with how this is progressing thus far. Imagine it'll get a little trickier further on in, but I still haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy. I've been meaning to for years now, it seems. I don't know when it came out, last year, year before. I'm pretty sure it came out when I was studying for the bar and uh did not have a life. I just didn't really get to do much of anything. Like, I couldn't justify having fun for a whole summer. It was obnoxious. Literally every waking minute, I either was studying or feeling guilty about not studying. But, you know, I passed, and I never have to do that again. Suckers. So I'm not moving out of state. Particularly since I do not want to go through the process again of purchasing a house. I'm glad I did it once. Yeah, we do have our delayed fireball, that's true. In fact, let's use that right now. Boom! And recharging. Ooh, 
Miralan the Cloud Mage. Whoa. A row of the clouds. Whoa. That's cool. Is he always there? I didn't know that any of these labs had the actual live magi in them. Glad we're not flying. Okay, so we get five or six spells, depending on whether we decide to use Fireball or Bolt of Fire. Spell power is the same. Oh, we could use one destruction. That seems like the correct choice. There we go. Um, I will take these two absurd items. Oh. So, flying and resist electric, and a plus three bonus is okay, I guess. It's not the best. Our, I think our rogue is actually better. He always has that on Randar. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Ooh. Well. This I like. Big room stuck full of treasure. Yeah, this was a very easy this lab. Okay. Let's drop off some junk. Don't think we care about this ring of ice anymore. I'm going to drop this chunk of flesh for now. Okay. The incunabulum of the destructive birds. Hmm. I mean, there's not really anything on there that I don't already have access to. Maybe there is... I don't know. Pyrus of Feathers and Arcane Weapons. A lot more clouds. Yeah, not too excited about these. But if I can drop one more thing, I can take back these scrolls of silence. Um, I'm sure we can find another Ring of Fire if we need one. And I don't think we need one. Okay. Staff of air. Do I want a staff of air? Do I have a staff of air? Yeah. Yeah, I have a staff of air. I don't need another staff of air. I've said staff of air a whole lot. Okay, well, whiz lab down. Boom! Yeah, the mutation whiz lab is awesome. I love the mutation whiz lab. Siku Toby's lab, maybe? Oh, what was his name? Um, Riralod. R I R O L O D. What's for A? Blowing up everything, I think it's okay, yeah. Just machine gun him down. Oh, and we could probably drop a bunch of this stuff now. It's not too exciting. This quick blade of freezing is neat. I wanted to drag it out of there, but I don't think it's all that important that we keep it on us. And... Sure. Wait, do we have... Uh, 
We don't have enough for tornado. Oh, it's going to be a long time before we can cast tornado anyway, isn't it? And chain lightning we carry with us, so I don't think we have to wait on anything. Just shy. Just shy. Definitely want to make sure to get that guy first. He is the most problematic, and we'll just blow ourselves up. Boom. Book of the Dragon is meh. Fine, I guess. Book of the Dragon is really cool to find early on, because it gives you a lot of direction. Ah, uh, three orbs of fire. Ouch. Oh, grabs on the form of wind. That's cool. We don't have an awesome short range single target ability, do we? Like Ledwood's Crystal Sphere. That would be nice. Maybe the uh, Chain Lightning will serve that purpose. We'll see. Boom. Fireball in a way. I mean, how many fireballs do we cast that five? Like seven or eight. A lot. Like well more than a full mana. Oh yeah, I have this Quicksilver Dragon armor. Okay, so let's see what our spells are at. Deflect missiles is our worst, seventeen percent. Um, let's close this door. In this door. Let's try it out. Seventeen percent. Armor cost goes up significantly. Whoa, thirty percent. Oh, and we lost two intelligence. So we might have lost a little bit of spell power. No, doesn't look like that was too bad. Ignacio. I don't remember Ignacio. I'm pretty sure I've killed him. I know I fought him. What is Ignacio? Uh, I don't count the different branches as different serpents of hell. I think it's all the same serpent. It just takes on different aspects depending on where you find it. Oh yeah, that's where I fought him. I had a character that had to go through Pandemonium for a really long time before he found all of the runes. It's quite the ordeal. Air magic at level 15, okay. Yeah, I think I think after I clear vault four here, I may I may call it a night. I, I'm not sure exactly how long I've been streaming, but it's been at least two and a half hours. Been through a lot. It's been grand, but I also need to, like, eat and
I mean, three man fireballs are okay. This is a lot of orcs. Yeah, that's a good one. Mehmet really awards you for highly efficient spellcasting. Oh, an orc warlord. We still have 21 mana, which is okay. It's not awesome. Hmm. Guess that's the best. Sometimes it's good to save some of these weaker orcs um, for times when you know that your collateral damage is going to kill them so you can get some mana back with that event. Oh, he's going to longsword Holy Wrath. Well, I'd rather take some damage here from ourselves than from our, ourself. And myself. I guess we really should be cutting back, shouldn't we? Pretty poor play. Nah, well. That just that confirms my decision to wrap up the stream after after this level. Don't want to make any stupid mistakes. Ooh, looks like we got another shop. That's nice. Yeah, one thing that I do sometimes, and I've, I've tried to get better about this, and I, I, I've noticed that it makes a difference, um, is assuming that because your starting background has certain skills and equipment that you have to train in those. I mean, um, like you can go assassin and then turn into a juggernaut tank or a pure spellcaster or something. You, I mean, you, you don't have to stick with what you start with. It's just... It, it can make the it can really change the way that you play out the early game and get uh, get access to stuff that way. And the bookstore is I mean we have pretty much everything we want for the rest of the game, I think. Yeah, I just, I don't think that we have anything we really need. And we're just going boom boom all the way, kind of, so. Alright. Oh, did I pick up, I picked up a bunch of junk out of Not even all that convinced that I even need to be carrying around this crossbow anymore, but eh. it it gives me an, a nice sense of security.
Um, the hat's not going to be better than our helmet, I don't think. Oh, well... I mean, three intelligence is really strong. I guess we can at least try it on. Plus zero hat of intelligence, okay. I'd rather have two additional armor class, thank you very much. Oh, it actually took down our deflect missiles. Oh, right. No! How difficult is it to cast? Oh, 30%? Right, because we did something. Oh, we're still wearing Quicksilver Dragon Armor. That's why. Okay. Alright, well let's just kill this guy and... Um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely uh, getting a little tired here. Mm. Wow. Oh, ow, ow, I still didn't recast Deflect Missiles. Bad, bad, bad. Ugh. There we go. Alright. Got ourselves in a little bit of danger there, but nothing, nothing irreparable. Yeah, this is this is very definitely going to be the end of the stream here. <laughs> one one way or the one way or another, the stream will end very shortly, and I want it to be for the better. Oh, paralyzed, jerk. We also do have our delayed fireball, so I'm not too worried. Ooh, that was one thing we should have done when we got uh, bashed by that bolt warning that one time we were near death. We should have used our delayed fireball then. If we hadn't already. Oh, um... Okay, yeah, back down to 17%. Excellent. Oh yeah, Sword of the Jihad will definitely... definitely do some work. Eyes everywhere. Oh no, we don't want to just boom 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 something soothing about just walking through the dungeon. Just blasting things with fireballs. Maybe relaxing for a while. Empty Archmage. Oh, that was always loud. That's right. All right. Okay.
Okay, I think I think this is the end of the stream for today. We uh we did progress a little bit. We got uh, an amulet, gave us warding and resist negative energy, which is kind of nice. We got um got a few more levels, got a few more spells. Ooh, we might even yes. Let's go ahead and memorize chain lightning. Yeah. That seems good. Maybe I'll poke... Oh, no, no, I'm not going to poke my head down the floor into Bolts 5. That's stupid. Uh, but I am excited to check out Chain Lightning next time. I think it's going to be reasonably strong. I haven't cast it too many times, I don't think. So... A lot of the time I've just skipped straight to Tornado, but it's going to be a little while before we can cast Tornado, just because we are trying to progress with Fire Magic as well. We're, we're kind of... We're going for a stronger peak at a later time, rather than rather than two small peaks we're going for. Boom. So. Alright, well, um, we've got a good character here. I think it's coming along. Especially for Dean's Bomb Wanderer, we uh, we have done well for ourselves. From our humble beginnings. Um, mutations, we have... Let's see, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 4 more mutations to acquire across 8 levels, so it'll be one every other level or so. Um, I really like the random altars. I think they're cool. I haven't used one yet, but I think it's pretty cool. Hidden human buff, because humans need a god to function and stuff. Anyway, I think that um, I think that that's about it. This has been a fun stream. Um, pretty successful. We got gosh, we got a rune, didn't we? We got the decaying. Rune. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, what a neat page. That's awesome. I love that they mark them, and I bet that they, it just reveals their graphic when you pick them up. That's really cool. I like that. Very neat little change. Cool. All right, well, that's all for today. Um, you guys have been fun. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.